I often like to like kind of hold my tickets in front of the camera. The reason being is it distracts the, the air hostess and they go, ooh, I'm being filmed. <laughs> you go, yes, you are. And then they don't tell you to turn the camera off, which is great. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Except that time failed a bit. <laughs> but never mind, we're here, we're back on the plane. This plane has Wi Fi, and I'm hoping to upload the vlog from the last part of the flight. On this flight, it's 20 bucks for 200 meg, and my vlogs are normally like 4 gig, so quite possibly I'm just gonna wait till we get to the hotel. 4,000 gigamegs. That's exactly the terminology, darling. Well done. <laughs> Piers learning computers. <laughs> What's the file size of our vlogs? 60 frames a second. No. <laughs> 4,000 gigamix. No. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you think Pia should do tech classes. I'm going to do the editing from now on guys. It's going to be a boring success. It's going to look like a kid's show. <laughs> I found toothbrushes in the toilets in the last flight and I took them. So now I have a portable toothbrush thing with... This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's not that cool, it's just something I've always... It's not cool at all. <laughs> It's just useful. The toothbrush has a hat, so that doesn't get the bristles don't touch all the other stuff in your bag. I think that's cool. I love that usually you are impressed with things. A hat. I've got a hat and my toothbrush has a hat. From Sydney or Melbourne or Sydney. G'day mate. So we are now on leg two of this trip to Paris. Two. <laughs> The local time here is currently 6.40 in the morning. 7 a.m. Around 7 a.m. I've opted for a green tea and a hot towel and came in having rosé. I didn't know what time it was. I just thought this is free. <laughs> I think that's where you put your shoes. I'm not 100% sure. I reckon I could fit my shoes in there. And then that's your leg room. Just woken up. Look up here. <laughs> I'm just scaring everyone on the plane. So <laughs> much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Did you see the snow? Yeah, I nearly fell in it already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing, and I'm in the airport. We thought it was going to be like positive temperatures with no ice and no snow and as it turns out there's snow all across this airport and this is where they've obviously cleared the snow out because they need to fly planes so I can only imagine what it's like once we actually get into Paris. We've just come from summery Australia into a winter wonderland. We have actually left Sydney in the height of its summer <laughs> to come to Paris in January. <laughs> February. waiting for our room to be made ready because we arrived a bit early so I'm just taking some time reading Tapas magazine it's a yummy yummy magazine it says it there yummy yummy France is too cool I forgot I had a hat on <laughs> why did you keep forgetting because it's not my normal thing normally I just like a cool dude in a baseball cap a cool dude now I'm like this Indiana Jones character <laughs> What makes you an Indiana Jones character? Just the fedora? No, the fedora and my my general adventure attitude to life. <laughs> Six hours time and Pia has still got some parts of her outfit not complete. <laughs> My outfit is complete but as it stands it's see-through so I need to go and get like a nude slip for underneath. <laughs> Otherwise yeah. there's going to be some serious problems with well, flash photography. <laughs> <laughs> My hand has basically turned into a block of ice, look. 
<laughs> I've got a thermal, a t-shirt, a jumper, and this jacket on, and I'm still so cold. How do people live like this? <laughs> this is like genuinely, I don't get it. There's literally like little bits of snow that are landing on my eyeball and then turning to water. <laughs> We've been out like seven minutes and Pierre's already on the uh, the glove thing. We need them. Oh right, now that's a view. So we've just arrived at the Arc de Triomphe. We were hoping to get a nice blue sky picture, um, but obviously as you can tell, that's not going to happen today. <laughs> There we go. Camera. Oh, nice. There you go. The effort that he goes through to access Snapchat. <laughs> I, I'm not taking my gloves off. Okay, so it's way too cold, so we're gonna go in here and like get some sort of hot chocolate or some sort of beverage to bring feeling back into my nose. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> no, me either. Every shop in Paris just looks insanely it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Look at this place. Okay, well, I guess we've stumbled upon a cake shop. We didn't even know what we were walking into. It just looked warm. <laughs> and now we've found out they sell like macaroons and cakes, so. Right, I think, well, you know what they say, chocolate warms the soul. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wedding diet starts next week? Yeah. <laughs> so I've got this lens ball, which I bought from Sydney actually. And look at how cool it makes all the photos. If you see my photo like this on Instagram, make sure you go give it a like. It's literally just a big glass ball. I really want to hold it. Yeah, go on. Oh, wow, that's so cool. It's just solid glass. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Vast improvement. You know what I see in your future? Hopefully a hot chocolate. <laughs> I was gonna say macaron. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's vegan omelette. Seriously, I don't know what that is. It just looks like she's eating rubber. It's so good. Well, it's really delicious and it's not egg, although I have no clue what on earth. I don't it's think it's food egg. either. We've just run and I've got all my little last minute essentials. I needed like a slip and stuff. And we're sorted, so now we have to get home, get showered, and get ready for the premiere. We leave in two hours and 15 minutes, and normally it takes Pia seven to 10 hours to get ready. <laughs> I just have to rough it. We have to get in and it's an indoor premiere, so we're gonna be good. I think we just gotta run from the car. Oh my gosh, this was such a mad dash because we literally had like two days kind of notice before we were confirmed to fly to Paris. So luckily I had some friends at Rachel Gilbert and they like express posted me this in one day. So now I have this nice Rachel Gilbert gown happening. Excuse me, sir. We're here with Charlie and Emily. They are from London. So I feel I feel happy because I'm back with my own people. Be careful, Sam. Thank you. All right, in the snow, in a dress. <laughs> I can't slide my feet at all. I just have to like gently stomp down. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I see you go from the the ground. Yeah, Thank you. Very all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're going in here. That was so scary with that slippery ice. <laughs> 
I think everyone here is a YouTuber. Yes, I think so too. Come on through, everyone. Okay, so we've just walked in. Outside was absolutely freezing. Um, and now we've come through here and check out this like, this is like the foyer. This is where the uh, social influencers are. It's like a zoo. It's like an influencer zoo. And here we can see the uh, social influencers. And everyone's got and their here phone they all out. Are. <laughs> So we've just found out what the plan is and basically you come in here, you have a couple of champagnes, then you go through to the carpet and take a bunch of photos and then you go upstairs to like a cocktail room and that's when all of the like cast of the movie arrive. Wait, are the, are the movie people going to be here? Yeah, oh. all the talent are here. All everyone else is. But you know what they say? Smaller guys, big. No. <laughs> <laughs> We love very much Australia, but it's too far. We love kangaroos fighting each other. We love uh, cute koalas eating eucalypts. Um, 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 um. And you know they love to sleep a lot because they're tired. They're hanging on the tree and so on. But uh, I like to visit Australia one day. So if you don't bother me again. <laughs> So we've just been seated and I think the movie is going to start very soon. They're kind of playing like stuff from the red carpet, like interviews and everything. And it's really cool because I'm just like watching Miss France talk. This is actually the first time I've done a world premiere. So yeah. from that viewpoint, I'm very interested in how they, how they did everything with, with the whole kind of the guests coming in and the cast walking in. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. We'll do that for my movie one day. All right. This is kind of funny because everyone in this row, they're all here but from different countries <laughs> so like we've got I forgot how does it feel this is your last premiere of this trilogy that's that's been such a big part of all of your lives for so long I only know how to dress for summer <laughs> all right if, if you fall I fall <laughs> If I fall, you fall too. Yeah. Do I have snow on my eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> the camera is focused and like not shaking because it's got image stabilization. But I'm freezing so cool. Wow, that was. I've never ever got on a plane to go watch a movie before. So, bucket list tick. 